This week, the CDC provided its biannual update of autism estimated prevalence among nation's children, estimating that one in 54 children in the U.S. is on the autism spectrum. This is about 10% higher than the last report on this age group in 2018, and a 175% increase from 2005. The report shows important progress being made in key indicators. For the first time, for example, prevalence rates are the same for black and white children, and significant progress has been made toward number of children receiving developmental screening by age three. These numbers are exciting indicators of progress, though we know there's still work to be done. The world autism has changed considerably since we were founded in 2005, when the estimated prevalence was one in 166. Core to our mission since our founding has been to increase screening and lowering the age of diagnosis, especially among minority populations. The update since the previous report demonstrate progress in early screening and diagnosis as a result of efforts by providers, as well as more than a decade of awareness and advocacy work by Autism Speaks and other organizations. This news is truly rewarding for all of us at Autism Speaks and for the thousands of advocates, volunteers, and community partners, as well as the campaign partners like Ad Council and BBDNO, whose award-winning work made this possible. It shows that when nonprofits make an issue a priority, change happens. So let's go over some of the key findings. The report tells us that one in 52 children had a diagnosis of autism by age eight in 2016, a nearly 10% increase over 2014 when the estimate was one in 59. While the CDC found no difference in prevalence rate between black and white children, there's still a gap in prevalence among Hispanic children. This indicates a need to expand screening and intervention among this group. Adding to this, black and Hispanic children identify with autism receive evaluation at older ages than similar white children, again indicating that more needs to be done in this area. The number of children who had developmental screening by age three increased on 74% to 84%, a sign of potential progress to earlier and more consistent screening by healthcare providers. Boys are still four times as likely to be diagnosed as girls, holding steady from previous reports. This, is, this indicates the need for more research to understand why this gap in prevalence exists and ensure girls on the spectrum are receiving the care that they need. Significant difference remain in the frequency of autism diagnosis between CDC's monitoring sites. For example, the range from a low of 1 in 76 in Colorado to a high in 132 in New Jersey. This may be due to how autism diagnosed and documented in different communities. Together with the rest of the autism community, we have worked tirelessly to fuel and fund research that will allow early diagnosis and intervention. We've advocated with and for the autism community to ensure access to care, and we help shape programs and services that allow everyone with autism at every age and at every level of support to thrive. We are heartened by the progress being made, but we know much more is needed. That's why we will continue to champion the importance of early screening and intervention for all children. Research tells us that this leads to better outcome later in life can help us reach our vision that all people with autism will reach their full potential. With these findings in mind, we'll continue calling on legislators, public health agencies, and the National Institutes of Health to help us achieve this vision by advancing research to better understand the continued increase in prevalence and the co-occurring medical condition that may accompany autism. The Interagency Autism Coordinating Committee recommend that we double federal funding for autism research we urge policymakers to make this reality. This will allow us to better provide services and support for early intervention, education, transition to adulthood, employment, community living, and much more. As stated before, the report shows progress in healthcare providers screening children early and more consistently, and that's very good news. If you think your children may have autism, you should speak to your healthcare provider about an assessment. As a first step, you can access an online screening questionnaire called the MCHAT at screenforautism.org or detaccion de autismo.org in Spanish. 
for other resources, information, tools, and ways to get involved in our mission, please visit us at authenspeaks.org. You can also join our advocacy effort to help continue to close the diagnosis gaps, make sure all children have access to the care that they need. Learn more about how at authenspeak.org slash advocacy. Read more about autism in the U.S. and download the community report by visiting cdc.gov slash autism. As the prevalence of autism continues to rise, we are as steadfast as ever in our work to achieve our vision that all people with autism can reach their full potential. Thank you for your support.